outside is 62 degrees, so mild, but the fire is so delightful, it doesn't exist. Anyways, it's the heater there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, not children, again, Kappa, not here. Anyways, welcome to day four of the Jingle Jam. Just, I'm speaking of the weather outside, man, it is beautiful. <sighs> See this? No snow. Ha ha. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, this is why we deal with 120 degree weather, uh, Fahrenheit, of course, uh, in the summer. Because I can walk out here in my shorts if I wanted to, but I don't. It's actually a bit nippy. Uh, but I do have a lot of yard work to do. I just got back from my parents' place. You know, the traditional family get-together of big meals and festing, which always leaves the one thing leftovers and what do you do with leftovers you order pizza so i'm just heating up the oven because i don't know i decided i wanted to um heat it up via the oven rather than the microwave i want to get me a little toaster a toaster oven toaster so that way i could do this without heating up a whole oven just to heat up that but all that aside oh i'm getting something in my throat uh all the leftovers and stuff aside, the other thing holidays are known for is drinking. Let's get on to today's drinking. That is depressing. We are looking at, what is this, Dram Belly? And this seems to be a liqueur, but it's a blend of aged scotch whiskey, spices, and heather honey. So honey, spices, and uh, scotch. Scottish. Scotch. Anyways, whiskey. Uh, so we'll see how this tastes. Uh, again, it is a product of 40%. So it is right there on the atypical spirit spectrum. So this is the same level as Jack Daniels and your standard spirits. So let's see, what do I want to pick? How about the red cup? So since we're talking about leftovers and family get-togethers, plastic, uh, well, plastic plates, solo cups, and stuff like that, so you don't have to do as much uh, dishes. Oh, yeah, we went out and saw a movie. This is a new cup for the new year, 2020, which is now ah, only a month away. So let's see. Let's see if this pours. Hopefully this thing is recording. I've had issues. I'm working on one of them right now. I mean, <coughs> in the past, I worked on an issue. The first day's recording had issues. So I'm trying to fix that. The first one may be the only one. I mean, you, of course, know if it was or wasn't by now. But yeah, it may end up being in 1080 rather than 4K, like everything else should be. So I yeah, got a little smudge there. All right, anyways, on to this. Interesting. It smells, well, whiskey, but it's not a strong whiskey smell. There's something else there. It's, I, again, I want to say spice and honey, but that's the marketing, the subliminal. They're in my mind. <sighs> it smells like watered down whiskey is what it actually smells like more than anything. Oh, by the way, you're hearing, if anything, a uh, jingle jam in the background, watching it on live stream, American football on there. Again, a nice traditional <laughs> Christmas in the uh, otaku household. Which is only me. Loneliness. Anyways. I say there's a little bit of honey there, but it's faint. It's faint. So, again, more mute whiskey alcohol smell. Not the small... Like, you know when Jack Daniels is in, on front of you. You know when that pure whiskey is. Uh, that's bourbon. But still, uh, even if it was uh, your old Bushmills and stuff. I'm a bit tired, sorry. Again, just got back from off the road, family's place, so... Uh, I could use a drink, <laughs> but anyways, so here we go. Here's two dealing with the holidays and all the excess leftovers it brings with it. So cheers. Ooh, 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 okay. My reaction was less about the alcohol, more about my indige indigestion right now. But, ooh, that is warm. Okay. Oh. That is a thing of beauty right there. All right, that last, I'll get to that. Hmm. Oh, it's still warm and tingly. Okay. 
immediately down, warmth, kind of on top. It's riding on top of the slow moving slug and you just feel this warmth rush. But once that rush is passed, you feel again, honey is a good analogy. Honey mixed with a little bit of water or in this case whiskey and you feel that move down. So, mmm, mmm, the aftertaste is some kind of seasoning. I can't put my finger on it mixed with honey. So there's a little bit of honey aftertaste. Okay. So down the, th it goes down in your mouth, warm flush, just cheeks, nose, not up your nose so much, but just your face. And then this like ball of, I don't want to say mucus. That sounds bad. It gives you a bad vision, but this slow moving honey just kind of drools, uh, not drools, but just kind of slowly goes down your throat in a pleasurable way. Again, kind of like eating, um, well, honey moves a bit slower than that, but it, again, just this lovely, slow, syrupy. Again, the texture is syrup, thick syrup is what the texture is. And it's a, mm, it's delicious. But once that's down, and again, that's what triggered my coughing is I have something in my throat is bothering me, but that's not the big issue right now. But afterwards, much like the slowness down your throat, there's a slow warmth throughout your chest, a slow, uh, pleasant warmth throughout. So again, if I had to describe it, slow, uh, pleasant is how we describe that. Uh, not a strong whiskey taste at all. The warmth at the start is all you really feel as far as alcohol is concerned. When it goes down, there's some warmth on the edges of your throat. But again, I had that weird coughing fit, so it's hard to describe that accurately. Aftertaste, kind of sugary. Again, not so much honey, kind of syrupy, sugary. Uh, so, hmm. Good. I'd mix that with just your standard affair of uh, uh, sodas. Because again, it already has a little bit of sugar in it. So if you have any uh, less sweet sodas, which kind of an oxymoron, uh, you can mix that in there. Or tea. Because again, tea and whiskey is okay, but there's, you know, it's, you need a little bit of sweetness if you want there. So you can mix that. Oh, my throat's starting to act up. But that was delicious. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully this one works. So we'll find out together. Or at least I will. If it doesn't, then you won't be seeing this. Then I've done this for nothing. Oh, uh, hopefully you're enjoying lots of pleasant leftovers. By the way, that's pumpkin pie fell in half there. And a pumpkin kringle. Or uh, it has pumpkin filling and drizzle on top and it's some kind of filling. Peach cobbler, pump and pizza. I'm gonna have a good dinner is what I'm saying. So anyways, all that aside, Thanks again for watching and see you tomorrow.